Welcome back. So, well, in today's edition of the program, we are going to be uh, having a very interesting discussion for which you definitely want to stay tuned. But we are going to go ahead and proceed with it only after this short break. Stay with us. Welcome back to viewers. Here live in the studio, we have a very important uh, guest. We'd definitely like to go ahead and thank him for joining us today. His Royal Highness Prince Marcelo, Mene uh, the, fir the first, uh, Marcelo the first, who is the Prince of uh, Seborgara, uh, Seborga, well, my apologies. And we're discussing about the beauty of Seborga, something where the country is somewhere in the near Italy and something is gorgeous. The way he was describing to me before we started the show, the location and everything else, something is quite amazing. So, Assalamu alaikum, good morning, Your Highness, how are you? Good morning and thank you for inviting me here at your channel. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, so, Your Highness, can you please uh, enlighten us about a little more of the history of uh, Seborga? Tell us more about it. Okay, the history of Seborga is uh, it's a very long history. We started in 954, the year 954, and we were ruled by the Abbey of the Leran. The Leran are the islands in front of Cannes, the little uh, country in the south of France. Um, yes, yeah. so, so I feel like it's, like it's a very rich history and something that many of the people, well, they have uh, an honor to go ahead and, and kind of visit there, because I believe it's something that's quite amazing. Because I feel like, you know, it's perfectly located in the area where many of the tourists will go when, when they hear about the Seborga. So something that's quite amazing. Uh, we'll definitely go ahead and have him. Uh, indeed. And uh, with this, uh, Your Royal Highness, let's uh, find out a little through you about your visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Tell us a little about the purpose of your this visit to the Kingdom. Yes, my purpose of the visit is uh, our long relationship with... Uh, Fahd Abunayan is my good, real, uh, dear friend since high school in Switzerland. We have passed many years in uh, high school in Switzerland yeah. studying together. And since ever, we never, we always had a good relationship. And at this moment, he is our representative here in Saudi Arabia. So we are trying to improve our structure in Seborga to Middle East people and investors to come and invest for big projects and uh, uh, renew our infrastructure in the Principality of Seborga. Indeed. Yeah. With this, our very warm regards to Mr. Fahad Abunayan, who is sitting with us behind the scenes, actually. Yes, indeed. And uh, Your Highness, can you tell us what is the importance of exchanging culture, cultural uh, exchange among countries? Why is it so important? And what kind of future outlook or future out uh, can, can this lead to? Yes, this is the, base, the basis because the exchange of culture, that's very important. I was grown up uh, with many different, many different people studying together in high school and university with uh, different cultures, so I was brought up on, um, on easygoing different cultures. Indeed. And uh, what kind of cooperation are there between uh, Seborga and the Saudi Arabia? What kind of ties? Is it financial? Is it mutual? Can you tell us more about it? It's uh, to make uh, our little uh, principality known uh, a little bit faster than uh, other countries, so we'll try to uh, to get our friendship uh, and business-wise and try to develop all uh, our uh, relation with international countries. Indeed. Your Royal Highness, if you would tell us a little bit about the education system in Seborga as well. Okay, the education system in Seborga, we only have elementary and kindergarten for the moment because we have only 320 inhabitants in 14 kilometers square of land. And uh, I, see, I think 
that uh, the, the schools and uh, the kindergartens are very well controlling the pupils that they are studying there because since the classes are very small, the teachers can just focus on the pupils very easily. Yes. Certainly. Now, one of the things also that we are very intrigued about uh, Saborga is, as you mentioned, that it is close by to Italy. How are the cultures and the traditions in Saborga? Is it a little closer to Italian traditions or is it its own? Okay, since uh, I've said before, we come from this Lorraine, so our culture is more like a French culture. And uh, from Seborga, you, we can see four different nationalities, four different countries. Like we can see Monte Carlo, Italy, and France, and of course Seborga. So that our scenery from Seborga, you can see four different countries from our from, from our view. Indeed. And Your Highness, may you tell us more about the traditional meetings and green in Seborga? Tell us more about it, so people get more understanding of it. Yes, uh, Seborga, since it's a very low of population, is like a big family. We are all very close friends and uh, we enjoy our tradition. We pass the tradition from uh, years and years of uh, culture and we try to still apply the old traditions, clothing and uh, medieval style. Yes, and uh, we are enjoying that. Indeed. Indeed. Your Royal Highness, on this note, we are going to take a short break just to get to know a little bit more of the Barga, and we'll be joining you after this. Welcome back to the viewers. That was a brief report to, to get more information about the beauty of Seborg. And we're here live uh, in the studio with His Royal Highness, uh, Prince Marcelo I, and discussing about, you know, what uh, Seborg is, you know, his background, his history. Uh, Your Highness, can you tell us more about what are some future plans in Seborg so the viewers can get better understanding of the, of, uh, of the future uh, prospect of, of the country? 
Okay, since uh, the moment we don't have any, we don't have very much of infrastructure, so our main problem is to keep the tourism for more than two, three hours because they cannot come and enjoy a weekend in our place because we are uh, missing many infrastructure like hotel and uh, activities. We do, all, we do a lot of activities in outdoor activities. We are pushing a lot on sport, so that thing I think it's a really good method to, um, to talk with all the other, all other countries in the sport wise. Indeed. So I feel like when you were showing some of that, I believe some of the activities that were discussed here in the report was something about the flag throwing. Yes, this is the typical uh, medieval uh, type of uh, uh, floriculture, uh, floriculture part that we really enjoy to keep this tradition and try to keep the tradition. Every summer on the 20th of August we have this uh, meeting it's our national day actually on the 20th of August and we have this uh, everyone is dressing up typical medieval style and uh, we, we have a lot of tourism coming so we have to show our past and that's a good place. Certainly. Now your Royal Highness, uh, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia we have a lot of the different traditions but uh, there is one tradition that is part of everyone's life all around the world which is the food tradition here in the kingdom we had a lot we have a lot of the different cultural cuisines and as well as each part of Saudi Arabia has its own cuisine what about uh, Saborga and what are the traditional dishes there and also while you're here in Saudi Arabia have you been able to taste the Saudi hospitality the Saudi hospitality it's amazing I really they made me try a lot of different kind of food the sheep with rice and it, I think it's very near to the Italian, to the Italian type of cuisine, and they really enjoy on enjoying to cook, and uh, they are very good hosts here in uh, Saudi Arabia. I have to admit that. Our uh, speciality of the cuisine in Seborga, it's the rabbit, the oven hot rabbit. That's the main speciality. Oven hot rabbit. Yes. And then uh, the um, the pasta with pesto. That it's uh, a local basil local basil and we have of course a pro big production of olive oil and olives that we export all over the world that's the major income for the suburban people and uh, a lot of Italian old tradition came into our principality as well since we are inside their territory at the moment Indeed, all this, you know, is, uh, food makes you hungry, so I feel like my next question is perfect, it's like how to burn off that food. Can you tell us more about what are the traditional national sports in Saborga? Oh, yes, we have just started our National Olympic uh, Committee, that uh, it's a very good way uh, to attach discussion with all other countries through sport. I think it's a very healthy way to have diplomatic relation with other countries through sport. Uh, Your Royal Highness, here in the kingdom, along with the traditional cuisine, we have, of course, a lot of traditional dancing as well. The Arda dancing, which is with the sword. I'm sure that you have been able to see parts of it uh, with your hosts here in the kingdom. But tell us a little about the dancing and the folkloric traditions, as you were especially mentioning, upon the lines of the National Day, which you said is on the 20th of August. Yes, the 20th of August for us is a national day and it's a special day that all the nearby cities, they all come to see our uh, national day because our tradition is very nice and folkloristic tradition and uh, they, uh, they are really trying to really copy the same way of uh, medieval time and thousands of years back. So, the dance is three times a week and every three times a week in summertime we have this meeting all together, the city people all meet together in the square and they all dance together for until midnight or one o'clock at night and enjoy the time in Sebolga.
Indeed. Indeed. And with this, Your Royal Highness, before we bid farewell to you, just uh, a brief note that what is it in Saborga that a tourist must see? And here we are uh, speaking to you about this point, so we may encourage some of the Saudi tourists yes. to go ahead and find out more about Saborga by visiting. Of course, Saborga is uh, very natural. We are really natural. It's, uh, we have a lot of forest and green. It's a uh, hilly mountain. We are around 500 meters above the sea level. And we have this beautiful scenario with sea views and uh, we can see all the coast and it's an enjoyable place. And the hair, as we say, is so fresh and clean that you might live 10 or 15 years longer than usual today. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, with this, uh, Your Royal Highness, we'd like to thank you so much for joining us in today's edition of the program for gracing our show. Actually. Thank you for your hosting here. Yeah. It's our pleasure. So we were in discussion with His Royal Highness, Prince uh, Marcello the First, Prince of Saborga, and as well as we would like to extend once again a special thank you to Mr. Fahad Abunayan for escorting our guest and bringing him to us here in the Saudi Morning Show. For all of you who would like to share your thoughts and your understanding of Saborga from our discussion today, feel free to write to us on our email. You could also interact with us on Facebook and via Twitter. It's time for us to be embarking on another short break and we'll be joining you back again. Welcome back to viewers. Uh, that was definitely an honor for His Royal Highness to join us today to discuss more about the wonderful country. And now we're, uh, now we're definitely going to discuss, I feel like, you know, you know, when we have visitors like this discussing about their countries, it kind of brings the cultural uh, differences closer. So I feel like it's something that's quite amazing. Especially, you know, when they, when they come from far away, we show them the, uh, the hospitality here, we show them the food, the culture, and they, they, they kind of do the difference in the culture. Truly. And, well, uh, Suleiman, with this, we are going to be embarking on to yet another report in today's edition of the program. But very quickly, before we go towards a local report, as we were speaking earlier on in the program about Saborga, the Principality of Saborga is a self-proclaimed micronation of 14 kilometers located in the northwestern Italian province of Emparia Liguria near the French border and about 35 kilometers from Monaco it is. As Saborga became better known, tourism expanded greatly. The principality's historic town center was restored and was legally protected from commercial overdevelopment and as well as uh, they have their own local currency. But well, with this, uh, as we discovered more of Saborga today and this beautiful part of the world that is yet for us to explore, there are so many of the beautiful parts in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for us to explore. And one of those is where we are going to be taking you just now. So stay with us and let's see which part of the Kingdom. 